Hey everyone, welcome to Book Randomness. As always, I am thrilled that you are here. Today, I have a book review on The Book of Murder. Now, this book review is going to be put into two parts because I found a few elements or important things that I want to talk about. However, explaining the plot and the characters is a little bit difficult. So, we're just going to stick it to two different videos for the same book. I hope that's okay with you guys. If not, just deal with it. I don't know. Sorry. Um, but but so we're, we're gonna do it. All right. To explain, I am going to use pens. I promise I'll find a better way to explain books that I can't really completely explain properly without using things, but this is the way that I can explain it. So let's begin. We're gonna talk about the characters and then we're gonna just flow into the plot. All right. The narrator, he is a writer, you know, he writes novels that are the public usually tends to ignore and you never find out his name in the book so we're just gonna call him the writer. He is this red pen. He is connected to Luciana because 10 years ago they worked together. She would sit on a computer and she would write whatever he dictated to her. Um, however, she is connected to Cluster. That That's not the way to say his name, I know I'm wrong. Is it Cluster or what? Um, but we're gonna call him Cluster just because that's how I imagined it. That's how I said it in my head when I was reading. He is a writer as well. He is the top competitor inside the nation pretty much. He writes awful, dreadful, incredibly gruesome novels, um, murder novels. Less than 10 people do not die inside his inside one of his books. Many, many people are murdered inside his books and so much hatred is put into them. But, of course, everyone loves them. He's very, very popular, very known, pretty much got it going on and rich. You would think that his, his life is so awesome, but you find out that it's not. We'll talk about that. So, um, she works for him, you know, she uh, again sits down and types whatever he says. Uh, but he goes on kind of a, not necessarily a vacation, but almost a business business trip for a year, I believe, in Italy. So Luciana goes and she works for a month. She works a month for uh, the writer. And what happens is, you know, she sits, and he talks, uh, but something at the end tends to happen between them, and they don't go off in good um, ends. But that's okay. Anyway, 10 years later, Luciana comes to, or she calls the writer, and she's freaking out and she's telling him, well, we need to meet up immediately because things are going down, we just need to talk. So they do. And she begins telling him this insane story of how she thinks that Cluster has murdered each one of her family members over the past 10 years. And she has no proof, the police doesn't believe her, her own sister that is left, you know, it's the only fam family member that's left to her. Um, she doesn't believe her either. She seems to be very paranoid and freaking out and she thinks either her sister or her is next. So, of course, the writer is pulled into the story and now he it, has to go and talk to Cluster and figure out what's going on because Luciana is going crazy. Um, I hope I'm not going to need her because I just threw her. Anyway, um, Cluster goes and tells his side of the story and tells things that Luciana didn't know and um, didn't really mention inside the story. And now the, the writer has to pretty much pick a side who he believes. And he gets about a week where he goes to a, another city for a job and, you know, to kind of give a lecture. And throughout that small time inside the book, he thinks about everything and he reflects on it and he tries to pick a side. So if you are going to read this book, I want to know what side did you pick, who do you believe, or if you didn't pick a side, why didn't you pick a side? Just make sure you don't have any spoilers inside the comments because that's, that's no fun. I always like to read those and other people do too, so no spoilers guys. Uh, message me, even better, you, you can talk about books, just message me. That is all I have for this video. I hope the plot made sense. I hope this way was okay to explain the characters and everything throughout the book. If not, tell me if it was still confusing. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, make sure you check out part two because part two is where my heart goes out. I'm going to explain a lot of things about the way that 
I read books what I get out of reading uh, because everyone gets something different out of reading and also um, what elements or things I thought were important inside this book in particular. So that is it. That is all I have for you. I hope to see you soon. Very, very soon. You will see me soon. Every single day, as I said, I'm going to post a video until August 20th. Then I'm probably gonna not be able to post um, as frequent, but maybe I will. We'll see. Probably. Uh, it's still summer. I have no school. It's okay. But that is all. Bye, guys. Uh, oh, make sure you drink a lot of water, uh, eat a lot of vegetables, and read books because they'll change your life. Each book changes your life in a way. Be nice to everyone, as if you guys have seen my uh, review on the five people you meet in heaven. Your decisions make a difference in everyone else's life, just like their decisions makes on yours. So that's what I got out of that book. Make sure you check out the next video to figure out what I got from this book. Bye guys, have an amazing day.